Louisiana has always been an oil state, but perhaps that will change in the wake of America's largest environmental disaster. Bloomberg's Lizzie O'Leary is in Grand Isle, Louisiana. She has more on the story. Lizzie. Well, the oil could be coming in off the coast again very shortly, Deirdre, but people here aren't sure they want to see drilling go away. It's the worst kind of predicament, a catastrophe of still unrealized proportions caused by your biggest moneymaker. Well, if you're Louisiana, you clean what you can, but probably still keep drilling. I think there'll be a moratorium on the deep water until they uh, revise all of the safety regulations and the quality assurance and quality control and then uh, implement those. But uh, I wouldn't penalize the, the other dr uh, the people drilling on shelf in, uh, in the inland waters. Despite President Obama's six-month suspension of exploratory drilling in 33 wells here. The state's two senators and local leaders want the oil companies to keep doing business, even telling the president that on his trip to the Gulf. I express to the president that we are dying because of the oil spill, but if he allows this suspension to happen, it will kill us. Tourism and commercial fishing bring in their fair share of dollars, but it's oil and all the businesses that feed it that make up almost a fifth of the state's economy. Eric Smith, a former oil exec now at Tulane's Energy Institute, says even with this spill and anger directed at BP, don't look for those rigs to leave the Louisiana coast anytime soon. We have 33 of these vessels right now. They undergird this industry. It's about a $30 billion industry in a state with 4 million people. So you, you figure it out. You know, it's not something we want to give up lightly. Smith says if the moratorium is extended, some of the big companies will just move to other countries where they have leases. Some of the middle-sized ones could fold, and 100,000 jobs could be lost here.